What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have another WWE action figure set up for you guys and this time it is a competition versus Brett Olive. Alright guys, so in today's WWE action figure setup, I am going one-on-one -on -one with Brett Olive. Me and him are both uploading a WWE action figure setup, and we need your guys' help on who wins. So if you want to vote for me, leave a like on my video. The one with the most likes will win. Guys, go check out Brett Olive's video as well so you will know which one was better. And comment and, you know, leave your thoughts and leave a like on who won. So if he gets 100 likes and I get 90 likes, he wins and so, so on and so forth. So if you guys want to vote for me, please leave a like on this video. And uh, let's get into the action figure setup. I filled up the entire arena. We got the backstage and the arena all filled up, guys. There's a bunch of cool stuff in here, and I want to get started. I guess we can start in the backstage, and then we'll make our way to the arena itself. All right, guys, so getting straight into it, it is a bit randomness. It's sort of just some moments that popped in my head to go along with uh, current activities and sort of thrown together. But anyway, we have the wrecking slam mobile right here. Braun Strowman ripping the door off like he did on Monday Night Raw. He has beat the hell out of the big dog Roman Reigns. You can see he's on that hood right there beat up the car is all destroyed and stuff like he did to it on monday night raw as i mentioned but he's yelling right here going berserk and uh, we don't know what to do braun Strowman going crazy on roman reigns right there if we come forward a little bit we got heath slater getting loaded up by devon and bubba ray waiting on that 3d he's about to hit heath slater with the 3d the dudley boys taking heath slater and he's gonna go i don't know if he'll go through the stretcher but he is definitely going to land on that stretcher right there and the dudley boys are you know taking heath slater to dudley so that I thought that was a nice little 3D moment right there. Coming forward into the corner, we get a bit of symbolism right here, guys. Uh, I just took my boy Seth Rollins, and Bretto said his favorite wrestler was AJ Styles, so I just sort of took one of my favorites, and I got him curb stomping AJ Styles into those light tubes, guys. You know this is going to make a huge mess. AJ Styles' face is going to get all messed up. So Seth Rollins is burning it down, and he is hitting AJ Styles with a curb stomp on those light tubes. Can you imagine if this happened in real life? AJ Styles would be absolutely destroyed, but I thought that was a pretty cool moment right here. Going just beyond that, guys, we got the New Day. We got Kofi Kingston giving a big New Day boom drop onto Vince McMahon off of that little table right there. So he's going to jump off of this little storage unit. The New Day, Big E, and Xavier Woods holding Vince McMahon down. You know, he keeps replacing him and not wanting to give him that WWE Championship opportunity at WrestleMania 35. So Kofi's taking things into his own hands, and he is going to lay that big leg drop onto Vince McMahon and put him through the table. I, I think once this is complete, though, he definitely won't be getting that opportunity, but he's he's lost it, guys. He's ready to have his opportunity, so he is taking it out on the man himself, Vince McMahon. If we come into the middle, guys, you will see the glorious Bobby Roode right here, and he just threw Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose went crashing right through that glass window pane right there, and that's why he's all bl bloody and beat up, and he's just beat to hell. I guess you can call this heel Bobby Roode. I don't know if he's heel. I'm not, I guess him and Chad Gable are heel, but this is going back to the NXT Bobby Roode. So, you know, NXT Bobby Roode, he was a lot better and I liked his sadistic side that he showed in NXT so he's he's thrown Dean Ambrose through that window pane and you know it's messed Dean mean machine up back there but you know Bobby Roode looking good if we go to the back right here guys I can honestly say that No Way Jose is dead he just got tombstone pile drive through that massive red scaffolding you guys know that that thing was like all the way up there where Hurricane is it was even taller than that maybe maybe like yay high he went through four tables of scaffolding and he came crashing into the ground so No Way Jose is officially dead dead. You can see just the madness and the carnage all around The Undertaker. All those tables and scaffolding, you know, that whole setup exploded after he tombstoned No Way Jose straight through it. So, you know, he's definitely feeling it there. In the back, we got Sheamus delivering Mustafa Ali's face into that monitor. I don't really know why this popped in my head, but I was like, I need somebody throwing, you know, Mustafa Ali into that. And uh, I don't know, Sheamus was right there, and, you know, he's posed well. He's throwing Mustafa Ali's face into that monitor, and Mustafa Ali getting a little taste, you know. Uh, probably doesn't feel as bad as those people booing him for replacing Kofi Kingston, but, you know, he's definitely getting hurt over there. In the back of the setup, we have my boy Randy Orton, and you know what's coming right here, guys. Hurricane about to jump off the top of these stores. 
storage units and he is about to come crashing down into an RKO. You already know it's coming. You can see it developing right here. My boy Randy Orton about to catch the Hurricane and plant him with a massive RKO right here. And the Hurricane, I guess, is the superhero here and the villain Randy Orton, of course, going to slam the hell out of this man and it's going to get ugly. But there is, you know, the precursor to that. That is about to develop. And I'm pretty sure that's everything in the backstage area, guys. I know that Bretto likes to, you know, get as many figures as possible, but I, I would rather, you know, pose it well, get the, you know, get some composition in here, have some good moments and extreme setups, and that pretty much does it for the backstage area. So now let's move on to the arena itself at ringside. So this one is absolutely insane, guys. We're going to start off on the stage, and we got the man, Velveteen Dream, loading up the Miz for that Death Valley driver, not only through a table, but off this massive ladder, and look how well this is posed. It's all composite. You can see his foot stepping off there. He is about to, like... I know The Miz would never take a spot like this, but this man is about to get absolutely destroyed as he comes off that ladder and crashes through the table. Velveteen Dream, I really love that figure. It poses so well. You guys can pick that up. Elite Series 67 Velveteen Dream at Ringside Collectibles using the promo code MDTOYS. But that is what we got for the stage setup. Coming right here at Ringside, guys, the Young Bucks have broken loose on MDT Live, I guess. That's the arena we got set up right here. And the Young Bucks are delivering a double super kick to Jack Gallagher, and that is not not all. Not only are they double super kicking Jack Gallagher's head off, but he is literally handcuffed to the turnbuckle. How sickening is that? So not only is he handcuffed and helpless, he is getting double super kick, guys. Absolutely insane. So the Young Bucks are destroying Jack Gallagher right here. I guess we can keep it at ringside, and we'll go right here. My boy Kevin Owens is delivering a huge body slam onto the corner of this chair, and that is just making my back ache just looking at it, guys. Can you imagine? I know that I think Aleister Black hit Adam Cole with this on NXT, and I just thought it was a brutal spot. So I thought, what better way to kick off the rivalry here in MDT then with Kevin Owens delivering that body slam onto Sami Zayn, you know that has got to hurt. The just Jesus digging into the spinal cord of Samuel Zayn as Kevin Owens just finishes him off right there. Coming into the corner, we got the new NXT Elite Target exclusive, Drew McIntyre, scooping up Chad Gable. I guess Bobby Roode and Chad Gable, you know, sort of getting separated. Bobby Roode taking care of the mean machine Ambrose, but Drew McIntyre has taken care of Chad Gable. He's about to deliver a huge spear, I guess, and plant him through that table. He's scooping him up right there, maybe hit him with a spine buster or a slam through that table right there. If we come just beyond that, you guys will see that Edge is spearing Matt Hardy. So what happened right here? You guys will see that Matt Hardy's on his way down through those two tables off the spear. So Edge, Matt Hardy was on the turnbuckle and about to jump off onto Edge and Edge read it. He ran up and speared Matt Hardy right off the turnbuckle and he is going to plant him through both of those tables. So what an epic spot. He is definitely going to crash through, renewing that rivalry here in my action figure setup. So the huge spirit of Matt Hardy driving him through both of those tables. Going just beyond that, guys, we have my boy Finn Balor. You know I had to add Finn Balor to the setup. He is one of my favorite talents. So right here he is delivering a huge coup de gras off the top turnbuckle to to Trash Corbin through the ladder bridge on the outside. What an epic spot. I know it's not the demon, but who needs the demon? You don't need the demon to destroy Trash Corbin, even though he did do that at SummerSlam. So he's coming off the top. Coup de Gras to Trash Corbin through the ladder. Totally taking out Trash. He's taking out the Trash here in the MDT action figure setup. So I thought that was really cool. And it's completely balanced and posed there, looking very nice. Coming into the ring, guys, we got a little bit of extreme right here and some cool creativity. We got Cactus Jack slamming the Beast Incarnate, the flashback Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. You can see the expression on this man's face. Look at his face right here, guys. He is yelling in pain and agony because he just came down on all of those tacks, those hundreds and thousands of tacks just getting drove into the back of Brock Lesnar. You can see the expression on the face. Cactus Jack putting this man through hell, so I thought that was pretty cool. If you guys want to, I can show you guys how to make your own thumbtacks for your WWE figures. I got that little mini bag right there because, you know, they bring out the bag and then they dump all the tacks out in the middle of the ring. So Brock Lesnar is definitely feeling that right there. If we aim just beyond the ladder, I'm trying to get the best angle that I can, you will see Aleister Black delivering a huge black mask to Zack Ryder. Let's see if I can get over here. Maybe 
maybe come through the ladder right here. You will see, uh, well, it's not focusing there, but Alistair Black is destroying Zack Ryder with that black mass in the corner. I had to add Alistair Black. You know, we had Velveteen in here. We had some new figures, so I figured why not add Alistair Black delivering the black mass to Zack Ryder in the corner. And to finish off our setup, guys, we have the brand new Elite Series 67 Jeff Hardy in the middle of the ring delivering, uh, well, not delivering just yet, but he is, you know, at the top of that ladder. He's got his, you know, signature hands going on, about to come off the top of the ladder in the middle of the ring all the way down to Christian, who is on this table. And you know we're about to get a huge swanton bomb. I think we did this spot at MDT Money in the Bank. So he's about to come crashing all the way down onto Christian and definitely, you know, incapacitating Christian for a moment. But I thought that was pretty cool. You know, he's making the face. He's got the signature hands right before, right before he comes off the top of the ladder. thought that was pretty nice. So we got Jeff Hardy represented in our setup. And I'm pretty sure that does it for the entire WWE action figure setup, guys. Again, if you think I won the WWE figure setup challenge versus Brett Live, please leave a like on this video to vote for your boy. And please go check out Brett Live's channel as well. He makes epic WWE action figure content. And go check out his setup so you guys will know who won. I would love to know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I tried to make it extreme and have some cool spots here and there and, you know, uh, just do some creativity, pose it well, comp you know, compose it well and everything. But Thank you guys so very much for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you want to vote for me. Subscribe to both me and Brett Live for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Absolutely brutal.